Hi guys, this is Simone and welcome back to 5th grade math with Alston. The topic that we are covering today is numbers, is numbers and operations in base 10. As always, our videos consist of 8 to 15 review questions that are timestamped in the description box below. We also have a links to further reference page that is in the description box below that has links that will help you further your understanding of concepts that were covered in today's video. Let's right into it with the first question. All right, let's get started with question number one. Harold and Julia were drawing balls with the number zero through nine on them from a bag. Harold drew the numbers six, three, and nine in that order. Julia drew the numbers two, seven, and five in that order. They put the balls together to create a three digit number. How much bigger is a 7 in Julia's number than the 9 in Harold's number. I'll give you guys a few seconds to solve this problem, and if you need more time, feel free to... Alright, so, the answer is 61. If you got this correct, feel free to skip to the next question. Harold's number is 639, since he drew the numbers 6, 3, and 9 in that order. Julia's number is 275, since she drew the numbers 2, 7, and 5 in that order. The 7 in Julia's number is in the tens place of this region number. That means that it equals 70. The 9 in Harold's number is in the ones place, because it is in the ones place right here in the three digit number. So it equals 9. Subtracting 9 from 70, we get 61, which is our answer. Question 2. Write the following in number form. Three hundreds, eight tens, one one, four hundredths, and nine thousandths. I'll give you guys a few seconds to solve this problem. Okay, so the answer to this problem is 381.049. If you guys got this correct, feel free to skip to the next question. The description of this number says that there are three hundreds, which means 300, eight tens, which is 80, and one one, which is just one. This means that the whole part of this number is 381. Now the decimals say that there are four hundredths, which means 0 0.04, and nine thousandths, which means 0 0.009, which gives us 0 0.049. If we add these together, we get 381 plus 0 0.049, which is 381.049, which is our answer. Put the following numbers in order of least to greatest. 4.936, 4.673, 3.305, 8.707, 3.003, and 5.512. I'll give you guys a few Okay, so the answer to this problem is this order. 3 3.303, 3.305, 4.673, 4.936, 5.512, and 8.707. If you got this correct, feel free to skip to the next question. To solve this question, we just have to look at each place of each number from left to right. So, first we can figure out which ones are the smallest numbers by just looking at the ones place of these numbers, right? So these two both have three in the ones place, which means that they are the smallest, right? So then we just have to look at the num look at the places and we have to keep on moving our along the places to see which number has the smaller, like which number is smaller. So with this number, we can tell that the first number in the tens place is zero, and this number, the first number in the tens place is three. So that means that this is going to be smaller than this. So that is going to be number one in the order right here. Now we can figure out that four, there are two numbers with four in the ones place, but this number is smaller than this number because there is a six in the tens place and there is a nine in the tens place. So that means that this number is going to be smaller than that number, which makes these two in the order like this. 
Now we only have one number with a five in the ones place, so we're just gonna put that right down here. And then our last number has an eight in the ones place, so we're gonna put that right down here. So that gives us our final order. Question four, write a sentence using greater than, less than, or equal to comparing these two numbers, 57.19 and 86.623. I'll give you guys a few seconds to solve this. All right, so the answer to this problem is 86.623 is greater than 57.19. The first number has a five in the tenths place and the second number has an eight in the tenths place. Since eight is larger than five, that means that this number is larger than this number. So we can use the words greater than to solve this question. Question five, write the decimal 76.801 in expanded notation. I'll give you guys a few seconds to solve this problem. Okay, so the answer to this problem is 70 plus 6 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.001. Expanding notation is when you split up the number and write it as a sum of each digit's value. 76.801 is made up of 7 tens six ones, eight tenths, and one thousand. So to write an expanded notation, we would make it seven tenths, which is 70, six ones, which is just six, eight tenths, which is 0 0.8, and one thousandth, which is 0 0.001. So this is our expanded notation. Question six. Ben purchases 24 bags of marbles, and each bag has 14 marbles in it. How many marbles did Ben purchase? I'll give you guys a few seconds to solve this problem, and if you need more time, feel free to pause the video. Okay, so the answer to this problem is 336 marbles. To find out how many marbles that Ben has, we have to multiply the number of bags he bought, which is 24 bags, with the amount of marbles each bag has in it, which is 14. So, to multiply 24 times 14, first we will multiply 14 by 4, which is a ones digit of 24. 14 times 4 is equal to 56. Then we're going to add, then we're going to multiply 14 times 2, which is 28. We're going to add a zero at the end because we're not actually multiplying 14 times 2. We're multiplying 14 times 20. So this is 280. Then what we do is we add these two numbers together to get 336, which is our answer. Question 7. Fill out the rest of the diagram and find the product. I'll give you guys a few seconds to solve this problem. Okay, so here is the answer, 1,632, and here is the filled in diagram. To find the total product, we will use the box method. Each product of each box is found by multiplying the numbers on the side. So, for the first box, we will multiply 40 times 30, which is 1,200. For the second box, over here, we will multiply 30 times 8, which is 240. For this box, we will multiply 40 times 4, which is 160, and for this box, we'll multiply 8 by 4, which is 32, all right? So then we have to add all of these four numbers up to get our total answer for how big this rectangle is. We add 1,200 plus 240 plus 160 plus 32, and we get an answer of 1,632, which is our answer over here. Question 8. Farmer Joe has 48 chickens that he needs to put in coops. There are six coops. How many chickens will go into each coop? Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. All right, so the answer to this question is eight chickens. To find out how many chickens each coop can hold, we have to divide the total amount of chickens, which is 48, by the amount of coops, which is six. Let's visualize this scenario to help us evaluate the answer. So here are the six rectangles are our six chicken coops, and 
we have 48 chickens that we have divided equally into each coop. Essentially, what we just need to figure out is 48 divided by 6. And the answer to that is 8, which is our answer right here. And there are also 8 chickens in each coop. Question 9. Miss Ross has to sort her crayons into table caddies. She has 12 table caddies and 888 crayons. How many crayons go into each table caddy? If you guys need some more time to solve this problem, feel free to pause. Okay, so the answer to this problem is 74 crayons. If you got that correct, feel free to skip to the next question. For this question, we need to divide 888 crayons into 12 table caddies. Let's use the box method to solve this. So we have 12 on one side of the box. And on the other side of the box, we have an unknown number, which we don't know yet, which will be our final answer, right? So our total is 888. We have to divide 12 as many times as we can into 888. So first what we do is we know that 12 times 7 is 84. So we can multiply this by, we can multiply this by 10 so that we can get 840. So 12 times 70 is 840. We subtract 840 from 888 to get 48. Then we bring 48 over here. 48 minus 48 is zero, since we know that 12 times four is 48. So now we know that the other side of the box will be 70 plus four, which is 74. So we know that there has to be 74 crayons in each table caddy. Question 10, evaluate 96.339 minus 46.812. I'll give you guys. All right, so the answer to this question was 49.527. If you got that correct, feel free to skip to the next question. We can subtract decimals just like we subtract normal integers. However, all we have to do is drag the decimal point down into the answer. So using long division, we can just easily subtract this. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Then we have to cancel out 6 and bring in 5. 13 minus 8 is equal to 5. 5 minus 6 is not possible, so we have to cancel out 9 and make it 8. So 15 minus 6 is equal to 9. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. So we get 49527. Four, and then what we do is we have to drag the decimal point down to the same spot. So it's 49.527, which is our final answer. Question 11. Sarah wants to purchase three pens, and the price of one pen is $1.59. What is the price of three pens? I'll give you All right, so the answer is that the price of three pens is $4.77. If you got that correct, feel free to skip to the next question. Decimal multiplication is also similar to integer multiplication. To figure out where to place a decimal point, you count how many numbers after the, are after the decimal points in both of the initial numbers you are multiplying. So in this case, the number that the decimal point is two digits after in this number and two digits after in this number. That means that in the final answer, the decimal point will be four integers after. So then we just use normal multiplication to figure out 1.59 times 3, and we get our answer as 47700. However, since we need to drag the decimal point back four places, we get 4.7700, which can be simplified to $4.77. If you found our videos helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Please remember to check out our links just for the reference page that was linked in the description box below. Feel free to comment any questions that you may have. Thank you guys and I hope to see you in the next one.